Summary of Overcoming Addiction A Common Sense Approach By Michael Hardiman The Slippery Slope Science has not determined exactly why some individuals become addicted to a substance or activity and others do not. Nor is it clear why the intensity of an addiction differs from person to person. But without a doubt, dependence creates negative behaviors that harm addicts and those around them. These are the four primary elements of addiction. 1. Compulsion, addicts feel they must engage in their addictions. Although they are making a conscious decision, the drive is overwhelming. 2. Dependence, addicts believe they'll experience negative consequences if they don't act on their addictions. 3. Regularity, addictive behavior is a constant in the addict's life. However, frequency can range from three times a year to every day. 4. Destructiveness, addicts' quality of life inevitably deteriorates, although the deterioration can be either rapid or gradual. Factors in addiction. Professionals look at addiction differently depending on their orientation. Some medical doctors believe that addiction has a genetic component. Psychologists point to emotional and societal issues. Religious leaders cite moral shortcomings. Pinpointing one cause for addiction is impossible, but three factors always figure into the equation. 1. The characteristics of the abused substance e chemicals that quickly leave the body, such as nicotine, and substances that deliver short, intense highs, such as crack cocaine, are highly addictive. 2. The addict's motivation, people seek excitement or euphoria, relief from emotional or physical pain, self-assurance, a sense of control or a way to fill a spiritual void. 3. The addict's susceptibility to dependence, because of their brain's chemistry, some individuals are particularly vulnerable to certain chemicals or activities, such as gambling. How dependence takes hold. Addicts often have fond memories of their first drink or pill. The high transported them to a new and wonderful place where they could forget their troubles, and they are constantly trying to recreate those feelings. Certain kinds of personality changes are typical of addiction. Denial, addicts often resist facing their pain or admitting they have a serious problem. They refuse to face reality, even when others clearly recognize personality and behavioral changes or deteriorating physical health and appearance. Rationalization, individuals in the early stages of addiction frequently try to justify their behavior. The businessman who has a double scotch every day after work says it relaxes him. The food addict says eating helps her cope with the demands of her young children. Addiction can cause ethical human beings to rationalize stealing from their parents or robbing convenience stores. Minimization, addicts claim that their addictions are minor issues. Potheads don't make the connection between regular smoking and their lack of motivation or even employment. They insist that tobacco is far more dangerous than marijuana. Projection, addicts take out their frustrations on others or blame the world for their problems. They refuse to take responsibility for their own behavior or misdeeds. Physical symptoms of addiction usually are quite noticeable, although you should never be quick to judge. Wild mood swings, red eyes, runny noses, sleeping late, constant fatigue, loss of appetite, compulsive lying and sudden weight loss are typical of drug addictions. The signs may be less noticeable in people whose addictions are to activities such as gambling or sex. In these cases, typical life changes include severe financial problems or long absences from work. Chemical abuse. Mood-altering substances affect brain chemistry differently and change emotions, thinking and functioning to varying degrees. Some of the most commonly abused chemicals include Alcohol e-ethanol, the active ingredient in alcoholic drinks, is a potent depressant that affects brain and body functions. Small amounts of alcohol lower inhibitions and brighten moods. Larger amounts lead to an increasing loss of control, including slurred speech, aggressive behavior, and poor judgment. In many cases, alcoholism is progressive. Alcoholics risk losing their jobs, families, or even their lives. Nicotine, this is the active ingredient in tobacco. It is a highly addictive stimulant that travels almost directly to the brain through smoking. Despite documented health risks, millions of people continue to smoke and incur massive medical bills. 
nicotine is particularly dangerous as it creates both psychological and physical dependence. Tranquilizers, if people often abuse benzodiazines, anti-anxiety prescription medications such as Xanax and Valium. Addicts develop a tolerance for tranquilizers and must ingest greater and greater quantities to attain the initial effect. Tranquilizers also cause withdrawal symptoms. Sleeping pills such Halcyon and Roy Hypnol fall into the tranquilizer category. Amphetamines, originally manufactured to treat asthma and later used as diet pills, these powerful stimulants can be extremely dangerous. They produce an exhilarating high while boosting mental and physical prowess. However, they also cause anxiety and paranoia. The severe withdrawal symptoms often lead users to turn to tranquilizers for relief, leading to cross-addiction. Antidepressants, although these commonly prescribed drugs do not produce a high, they are addictive because of their effect on the level of serotonin, the brain chemical that influences mood, according to some experts. Some individuals who quit taking antidepressants suffer wild emotional swings and physical discomfort. Opiates A heroin is the most widely abused of the drugs that imitate the natural endorphin high that pleasurable activities, such as sex or physical exercise, produce in the brain. Users build up a tolerance and can suffer excruciating withdrawal symptoms. Hallucinogens A drug such as LSD and psychedelic mushrooms alter the user's perception of reality and can be dangerous, even though they are not physically addictive. Marijuana, used recreationally by millions all over the world, is mildly hallucinogenic and can cause psychological dependence. Psychostimulants, a addiction to cocaine, which produces a heightened sense of well-being, can be rapid and devastating. Ecstasy, a powerful amphetamine and hallucinogen combination, can cause serious physical problems. Addiction to behaviors. Although the outward signs are far less noticeable, psychological addiction can wreak great havoc. The compulsion to engage in destructive behavior can be just as strong as the urge to drink alcohol or snort cocaine. Like chemical abusers, individuals with psychological addictions are treating their emotional anguish. The most problematic psychological addictions include Gambling, a winning and losing is secondary for the compulsive gambler, who is addicted to the action. These individuals are so entrenched that not even the prospect of losing their families and material possessions can stop them. Eating disorders, anorexia nervosa and bulimia, are insidious body image disorders that can be extremely difficult to treat long term. Anorexics compulsively starve themselves while bulimics binge and purge, setting in motion a potentially life threatening cycle. Shopping, e shopping and buying provides pleasure and distracts individuals from their problems. Whether they actually need the items is secondary to the experience. The small screen is some individuals need the constant stimulation of a television or computer. They find quiet unnerving. Sex is some people use sexual hookups, pornography and fantasy in a vain attempt to compensate for lack of intimacy. They lose sight of normal sexuality and their behavior can be damaging to their relationships and mental health. Work e workaholics sacrifice their health and family relationships chasing financial security and fulfillment at the office, even if they realize that work will never bring complete satisfaction. Relationships people in dysfunctional relationships may be suffering from low self esteem or have a high pain threshold. They sometimes remain in relationships despite physical and emotional abuse. The road to recovery. Addicts can only begin the journey to health under two conditions, they must admit they have a problem and they must be willing to change. Most addicts find the motivation to quit when their habits jeopardize their health, families, or livelihoods. A small percentage of those severely addicted to alcohol, heroin, cocaine, or pills require hospitalization to clear their bodies of toxic substances. In addition to the primary effects of their addictions, poor diet and erratic sleep habits can contribute to toxic buildup. Healthy individuals are less prone to the negative physical and emotional effects that can stall recovery or even trigger relapses. Recovering addicts must change their surroundings and the people with whom they socialize. Almost every American soldier who regularly used heroin in Vietnam stopped within a year of returning to the different social setting of the U.S. Thus, alcoholics trying to quit drinking often avoid bars, nightclubs, and restaurants, where familiar sights, smells, sounds or tastes, or an encounter with a former drinking buddy,
can spark a relapse. Even a whiff of tobacco can entice a former smoker to pick up a cigarette in a weak moment. Addicts who decide to change often benefit from the support and guidance of peer self-help groups such as Alcoholics Anonymous and Narcotics Anonymous. People who have been through recovery can help others. They understand the importance of creating a recovery plan that includes a structured daily routine with limited distractions. Ultimately, however, addicts must be self-motivated and view their recovery as a long-term project that will continue to unfold. Keeping your distance. Few experiences in life are as sad as watching a loved one destroy his or her life through addiction. Friends and family members often expend a great deal of emotional energy before realizing that they are powerless to halt the addiction's onslaught. If someone close to you is an addict, maintain your own mental and emotional health by following these guidelines. Do not pretend that the problem doesn't exist. Learn all you can about the addiction and enlist the aid of a specialist counselor. Do not engage in enabling behavior by giving the addict money or in any way facilitating his or her substance abuse. Join Al-Anon, Naranon or similar support groups that address the problems and issues of individuals who have close relationships with addicts. Calmly explain to the addict that you believe he or she has a problem and needs help. Nagging is not effective. In fact, it's counterproductive. Do not allow the situation to continue indefinitely. Addicts living in denial will make your life miserable. Insist that they leave your house. Do not allow the addict to threaten or abuse you. Contact the police. Be aware that you can't convince, cajole or force the addict to change. You can control your behavior but not that of others.